my first week in grad school and meeting all of these CEOs and senior executives. And I was just exposed so early to how leaders were thinking, um, what I should be thinking about as an early careerist as well. I think a good leader in healthcare needs to understand that there aren't sort of bright lines between areas. We would like to think of healthcare system uh, as an ecosystem. Kind of think of healthcare delivery, public health, management, policy as all being sort of boxes that people are in. Ecosystem is very dynamic. It's changing, responding to environmental opportunities as well as uh, threats. But leaders have to transcend those boxes and work across the traditional boundaries. I've learned a magnitude of things about the healthcare delivery system in the United States, the challenges that face that system and the ways that we can attack those challenges. It's all about promoting and, uh, and delivering high quality patient-centered care. Michigan is unique in that way because we have so much here. Um, so you can be like myself and be in health management and you can take a class at the business school, at the school of engineering, at the nursing school, at the medical school, and then bring all those perspectives together within your realm, within your, your discipline, to be a better uh, professional and a better citizen. So Michigan has been traditionally known for a very skills-focused curriculum with a strong focus on finance, accounting, economics, and management theory. And while we certainly maintain that, we've also supplemented that in recent years with a lot more experiential learning opportunities for our students. The complexities of, of running operations day to day, we try to bring that right to the class and to bring tools that we use um, both from a you know a business standpoint, methods, project management, uh, business case work. So the Griffith Leadership Center is kind of a foundational um, department here in our school. GOC is established with a purpose to enhance the leadership training in our department. It's where a lot of our alum and even individuals who are not alum of our program devote their time to improving the health care leaders of the future. We have leadership in residence where we invite established, accomplished alums coming back to spend time with students and to do group or individual mentoring. We have a program called HNET, which is a mentoring program where first year students are matched with an alum in the field. There are still students from almost 10 years ago who I still talk with. The health management and policy program, which I graduated in, definitely um, set me apart, I believe. Well, we hope our students leave with a, a broad appreciation how things fit together, the role of social determinants of health, and how that affects the institutions they're going to be working for and how they can most affect the populations that they're serving. And at the end of the day, things are changing because the system's not working. Um, and so until it is working, we're going to keep seeing those changes. And I think a lot of us will be the ones driving those changes. And that's really exciting for me and my cohort.